starting a game, the first thing you are going to do is determine who your party is, why you're going to, into the dungeon, and who the big bad is. I have four humans, Rupert, Jillian, Percival, and Deacon. The big bad is an ogre. He has a two-handed magical sword with a virtue trait, and that means that if he wins combat, he gets plus one to impact. Humans are resolute, always scoring a minimum of one success when in melee. Percival is Rep 5 Knight, Rep 4 Shooter. He has plate mail and a two-handed sword. He has the attribute of Swordsman, and he also has the attribute of Marksman. All of the models are equipped as shown. A Jillian as the Thief has the attribute of Brooms and Traps. She can roll to disarm a trap or find a secret room with 3d6 instead of 2d6, counting to two best scores. The basic mechanics of how the game works. Your party will move around exploring. There are PEFs, which I'm going to be representing with this, that can be generated in two ways, either by entering a room or if at the start of your activation, you roll doubles, you will resolve it. If it is combat, you then would go to the battle board. The board is here. This would be an example as if I had resolved a PEF as goblins. With PEFs, which stands for possible enemy force, it could be anything or it could be nothing. I tend to have them resolved ahead of time. That way when it's time to play, you're not fiddling around with dice and seeing well, who has what. So for this setup, this guy here has a hard shirt. Everybody is rep 4 except for this guy who is rep the racial attribute that goblins have is that they're lightweight. In this situation, the goblins were already in the room. My side will get a minus one, but that's offset personal as a star. Whoa, five successes. My side having won the charge into melee test. I'll resolve things in a specific order. The shooters will fire. I have one archer here. The result of one success means that he misses, the goblins all have shields. Rupert is technically an NPC, he will roll to see exactly what he does. Past 1d6, Rupert being rep 4 can affect 4 goblins. It always starts with the lowest rep going up inside of the spell effect. The first one will have to take a knockdown test. He passes 1. The first goblin has gone out of the fight, now for the next one. That's two out of the fight, now for the next one. Take a recover from knockdown test. The third goblin was knocked to the ground for the last in the front rank. He is obviously dead. I move the chargers into combat. First of all is going to attack. And the shaman will defend. Percival won the combat by two, he is using a two-handed sword, which gives him another two bonus towards impact. The goblin shaman is not wearing any armor. Percival is a swordsman and gets to roll two dice, picking the best result. He is obviously dead. Now I'm going to resolve a fight between Jillian and the last goblin. Jillian just scored six successes. She won by four successes, and I now roll for damage. The goblin will roll her recover from knockdown test. He has gone out of the fight.